So you can tell from the answer choices that this is testing punctuation. So that's a good example of how we predict the question based on the answer choices, right? So that helps us know what to care about. But we can also sometimes predict the question based on the sentence, based on the passage. And in this case, we can see how this answer choice is going to fit in with the broader sentence, right? While eating, the eastern gray kangaroo, red-necked wallaby, red kangaroo, and brush-tailed bitong all bipedal marsupials preferred using their left forelimb, blah, blah, blah. So it's a list. And lists have special punctuation. It's not hard. You use this all the time when you write, hopefully, in school. Basically, do we ever use dashes or semicolons when we're punctuating something? No, especially because if we're going to use a semicolon, remember, we need to have a sentence before and a sentence after the semicolon. The thing before is not a full sentence. It just literally cuts off in the middle of the list. And sometimes we see dashes with lists, but they're always at the beginning and the end, kind of separating the, set, the list out from the rest of the sentence, like it's an interruption. And so we don't, we don't have that here. It's just this random dash. Then it really comes down to, well, do I remember where the comma goes? Now, yes, you do, hopefully, because you do this all the time in your own writing. Some people get this wrong because they just like see an SAT question and like all their knowledge disappears. They just panic. You know where it goes. It goes before the end. That's the rule. So that's the whole question. Don't mess this up just because it's an SAT. Remember, you write in English all the time. You know the rules. Your brain is good at them. Trust your instincts if you need to. But yeah, here, if we know it's a list, this becomes very easy very, very quickly.